My last point, Paul said, I want you to get this straight. Be strong in the Lord and the strength of his might. Both God and Jesus have enormous power, do they not? God, having created the universe, is absolutely limitless in his power. Jesus has been given a great deal of that power now because he's been immortalized. And you're aiming at that same objective. Put on the full armor of God so that you'll be able to stand firm against the schemes of the devil. That should have a capital D on there. That's a proper name. The devil is a person, not a personification of sin. The devil is actually a proper noun, particularly for your notes in 1 Chronicles 21.1. The Satan, actually without the article, Satan arose. That's a proper noun. Proper noun means a person. It doesn't mean a personification. Paul never doubted that. Our struggle, now in verse 12, our struggle, it's a struggle then to be a Christian apparently, is not against flesh and blood. Actually, blood and flesh in the Greek, doesn't matter. Not essentially against human beings. Now, you may have to struggle with human beings too, but our struggle in this Christian experience is not primarily against blood and flesh, is what it means. But it's against, now then, an extraordinary list of awful powers, rulers and powers, world forces of this darkness. You'll like the Greek word there, cosmokratores. You've heard of a Democrat. You've heard of an aristocrat. And now you've heard of a cosmocrat. These are the powers under the sun and the moon, the sublunar powers, which as we read in chapter 2, verse 2, I got the verse wrong when I mentioned it, but chapter 2, 2, the prince of the power of the air, who is the prince of a lot of demons, not devils, by the way, the King James is quite wrong there, but demons. So that's what you're batting against. Sounds very much like Not external, like exactly, unless you think that you're in the sky, I don't think you are, but so these cosmocrats, yeah. that's why you're praying, thy kingdom come, let's get over to the end of this tortured process, but if you're training the Navy SEAL, if you're training the elite to govern the world, that's what you do, 